Hi, you guys. Welcome to day three of the Great Reinvention series, talking about um, how to reinvent your business or start a business or um, feel like you have the necessary tools and equipment to look into reinventing your business or taking your creative idea to the next level. My name is Krista Rizzo. I am a reinvention expert, certified coach, a speaker, and um, I am here to help you grant yourself permission to do all the things that you've ever dreamed of doing because we only live once, everybody, and if we've learned one of the eight gazillion things in, during this pandemic, it's how to pivot and figure out how to make things work for ourselves. And that's why I'm calling it the Great Reinvention. So yesterday, we talked about plan, right? Having a plan to start your business, having a plan to take your hobby or your idea or your side hustle, whatever it is, to the next level. <clears throat> you can't do that without a plan. What does that plan comprise? What is it comprised of, though? Like, what do we need to put into our plan every day to make sure that we are working our plan accurately and successfully? And so... I thought talking about money would be the next best conversation because money, depending on what your relationship with money is in your life, it can be overwhelming sometimes. It can be scary. You could be uh, somebody who believes money is a terrible thing and people with a lot of it are terrible people. And I think for a lot of us, um, our money stories evolve. Right? If you don't come from money or from a place where money was talked about in a comfortable way, you're going to feel uncomfortable with it until you learn that money is actually a great thing. Right, It's great to have money. Isn't it feel good when you have money in your pocket and you're like, oh, I can just go do this and do that and take care of my kids and take care of my family and put a roof over my head and feed my people and all the things. And when you have a little bit of extra money, it's always nice to be able to give back, right? That's what I like to do with my extra money when I have it. Um, but I think for a lot of us, we are afraid to have the conversation around money. And we shouldn't. We should be able to talk openly and discuss it and talk about how we use it in our businesses and how we use it um, in our lives. Because money is energy. And if you put positive energy toward your money, positive thoughts toward your money, positive to thoughts toward your own personal wealth being and business, wealth building and business building, your relationship with money is going to change. I know plenty of people out there that were raised to believe that money is terrible. People with money are terrible people. They don't do nice things. They flaunt it. They this, they that, blah, 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 whatever, right? And I'm sure you know some of those people. You may have even grown up in that kind of atmosphere. Right, money was utilitarian and it paid the bills and there wasn't a whole lot extra left over. Um, I know a lot of people who craved money and all they wanted to do was make more and more and more and more and more, but their association with money and happiness was inaccurate. Money doesn't buy us happiness. A lot of times money buys us headaches if you're not doing it the right way. And so when it comes to needing money, having financing, to be able to support your business or get your idea off the ground or start whatever it is that you're wanting to start, you have to be able to have a good working relationship with money. And that can take time to build and that's okay, right? And understanding where that money is gonna come from is also really important. So there are lots of different ways that you can fund your business. Right, you can fund it. You can self fund. My business is one hundred percent percent self funded. Um, I have spent my own personal money. I have spent um, some of my personal savings, uh, and any time I have gotten money, I have put it toward my business, my business building and marketing and all the things that I've needed to do to be able to stay afloat and survive and be successful in my business. You can ask friends and family for it, right? Get a loan from somebody, a personal loan from somebody that you know who would be maybe an investor in your business or a partner in your business or a silent partner in your business. I know plenty of people who have done that. Uh, you can actually go the, a very traditional route and go to the bank and apply for a small business loan depending on what your business is. I think it's probably easier to get a business loan for um, a brick and mortar type of thing rather than a, a, a services based you know company like myself I wasn't even sure I was going to be able to, I would be able to get a business loan so I never really went that way 
you can crowdfund. How many of you guys have ever contributed to a Kickstarter or some kind of sourcing from somebody maybe in your neighborhood who is doing something good uh, and wanting to launch something or wanting to write a book and they needed help with the publishing costs or whatever it is. And you can, you know, ask for $5 here and $10 here and that kind of adds up. Uh, you know, there are lots of different ways that you can do it. I highly encourage you to go out and get advice on it. Talk to somebody who is a professional in money, right? A financial planner, a wealth manager, uh, an accountant who knows things about money and how to spend it, where to put it, and taxes that are associated with what it's going to cost for you to be in business. Um, I have all those people in my life and I trust them implicitly and I use them and reach out to them whenever I have questions about an investment I'm making for myself or for my family or for my business and how it will potentially affect me and, and going forward and how I can run that business successfully continually. And ask a lot of questions. Don't be afraid to, you know, go to a seminar about, you know, wealth building. Don't be afraid to go to a seminar or take an online class about investing in your business and how you can do it in multiple different ways. Money is energy. Money is a good thing. Money is fun. And when you change your mindset or focus your mindset around the good things that money can do for us, because it does a lot of really good things for us, your perspective will change. You will reframe your situation in a way that says, you know what, this extra 50 bucks that I have, I can put in my slush fund for you know building my business. Or I just got a check, a bonus check. I'm gonna put that in my business building fund. And you can feel really good about what you are using that money for. Because I can guarantee you that when you have that money and you can start launching and producing and doing things, you will be able to start collaborating on more things. You'll be able to be more involved with other things that are just as important to you. Maybe some community endeavors, maybe some volunteer situations, maybe you can join a board that you, you know, feel so strongly about for a cause that you are, are connected with. Money is good. Money is energy. Find a mantra around money that you're comfortable with and start talking about it. Talk to it yourself about it. Write it down every morning in your journal, however it is that you start your day and, and get yourself off on the right foot. But be comfortable with talking about money because it's all good stuff. Where are you going to get your money for, from in order to start your business? Reach out to me for any questions that you have and I will try to guide you um, or put you in touch with the right people to help you. Have a great day, everybody. It's Friday. We are off for the weekend. We will be back here on Monday, and we are going to talk about um, visibility and marketing and support that you should have for your business before you start to add to that plan that we talked about yesterday. Thanks for being here, everyone. Have a great weekend.